In this video, we are going to look at the synthesis of pyrimidine nucleotides. Now, look at the pyrimidine nucleotide. It is with a single ring structure. What is important for us to know is the numbering. Numbering is slightly different from the purine nucleotides. So, here in the numbering is, it is in clockwise direction. Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, pyrimidine nucle nucleotides are synthesized in the cytoplasm. It is relatively very simple. Only five steps are there in synthesizing uh, pyrimidines. Synthesis begins from carbon dioxide, that is the carbon donor. If the nitrogen donor is glutamine, and this is an energy requiring process, two ATP molecules are required. This will give rise to a product called carbomyl phosphate. Carbomyl phosphate we have encountered in urea cycle. If the structure is like this, so this is the structure of carbomyl phosphate. You can already see that if the uh, ring formation is occurring here, it is the beginning. So this is contributed by carbon dioxide. This is contributed by glutamine. Catalyzed by an enzyme known as CPS2, carbamyl phosphate synthetase, enzyme number 2. So, two ATP molecules are required, a PI is liberated. Now, uh, PI and 2 ADP. Once you have carbamyl phosphate, in the next step is to carbamyl phosphate attach an aspartate. So, let us Clear this place and write the structure. So you have carbamyl phosphate and aspartate is added to it. So carbamyl phosphate, aspartate is added. Now the aspartate gets incorporated. So you have a structure like this now. This is of the carbamyl phosphate. Now aspartate structure is NH2, this is the C alpha, COO, CH2, and COO. So this becomes the structure. Almost the entire structure of a pyrimidine is made now. So these are contributed by aspartate, carbon dioxide, and glutamine. Now, this particular step where aspartate is added, oh, well, this name of this product is. N carbomyl aspartate. N carbomyl aspartate. Catalyzed by an enzyme uh, aspartate carbomyl transferase. A simple transamination, a uh, simple uh, transferase enzyme aspartate is added. Carbomyl aspartate is formed. Once you have carbomyl aspartate, in the next step is to remove a molecule of water and close the ring. That is step number three. So in step number three, so a molecule of water is removed and it becomes a ring structure. In step number three, a molecule of water is removed. Name of the enzyme, dihydroorotase. With the removal of the water, you will get Orotate. So, structure of orotate is this here two hydrogens, one hydrogen here, and this is COO minus. This is dihydroorotate. Dihydroorotate. Once you have dihydroorotate, step number four. In step number four, what happens is these two hydrogens must be removed. To remove those two hydrogens, we have a dehydrogenase enzyme. That is dihydroorotate dehydrogenase, which is an NAD dependent enzyme that will remove the two hydrogens, NADH plus H plus, and you will have this product, COO double bond here 
This is nothing but oral deed. Now, once you have oral deed, oral deed is the next step is to convert oral deed into a nucleotide. So how do we do that? To oral deed, PRPP is added. This is the difference between purine nucleotides and pyrimidine nucleotides. In the case of purine, we began constructing the molecule based on PRPP, whereas in the case of pyrimidine, a PRPP is added later. So once you add this on ribose 5 phosphate, you will have the orotate molecule attached, and that is called orotate monophosphate. This is catalyzed by orotate. Phosphoribosyl transferase enzyme, orotate phosphoribosyl transferase enzyme. So PPI is removed, orotate monophosphate is formed. Let us write the structure of orotate monophosphate. So the orotate structure is this way double bond O. So this is ribose 5 phosphate. This is the structure of orotate monophosphate. Once you have orotate mono, oh sorry, COO, once you have orotate monophosphate, if you remove the CO2, CO2 can be removed by an orotate decarboxylase enzyme that can remove the CO2. Once the CO2 is removed, you will get UMP molecule, uracil uh, uridine monophosphate. And once you have uridine monophosphate, you will be able to make from uridine monophosphate, you can make UDP. How do we make UDP? By adding an enzyme nucleotide kinase. Nucleotide kinase is used in order to convert UMP into UDP. And UDP can be converted to UTP again by nucleotide kinase enzyme. So in this way, uh, purine, UETP molecule is synthesized. Now a cell will also require deoxynucleotide. Deoxynucleotides are synthesized as and when it is required in two situations. One situation is when a cell has to undergo replication. And second situation, when a cell has to repair itself. So once you have UTP molecule, it is easy to convert a UTP into, a, basically it is a UDP molecule is converted to deoxy UDP molecule. It is converted to deoxy uh, uridine diphosphate by an enzyme known as nucleotide reductase enzyme. So this will convert UDP to deoxy UDP molecule. Once you have deoxy uh, UDP, it can be converted to deoxy UTP and that will contribute towards nucleic acid synthesis, especially in RNA synthesis. We need thiamine and cytosine. CTP and UTP, TTPs are required. How do we make a TTP? How to make TTP, deoxy TTP? from a UTP molecule. If you look very closely at the structure, if the UTP can be very easily converted to a deoxy TTP by a simple addition of a methyl group. So it can be converted and that methyl group is contributed by N10 formal tetrahydrofolate. And you will get deoxy TTP. Deoxy TTP, TTP is nothing but 5 methyl uracil. A methyl group is attached. 5 methyl uracil is thiamine pyrophosphate. So, this is how by formation of this, so the enzyme will be um, TTP synthetase enzyme will be the one responsible for this addition of a methyl group and it is added and TTP is formed. We need to synthesize CTP molecule. CTP is made from UTP molecule. 
UTP is converted to CTP an amino group is added that is glutamine will give an amino group and it becomes glutamic acid ATP is required as energy source so ADP plus PI energy is required and catalyzed by the enzyme CTP synthetase enzyme so we have seen very quickly how uh, starting from carbon dioxide and uh, 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 carbon dioxide and uh, amino group and plum aspartate how we have synthesized this particular ring once we have this ring we are able to synthesize other nucleotides like TTP, UTP, CTP all that is requ required for nucleic acid synthesis and finally to sum up it is very important that we need to look at the source of carbon and nitrogen so this is the basic structure so this is the basic structure and we know that this nitrogen has come from uh, this has come from glutamine this carbon has come from bicarbonate and this whole unit has come from aspartate so this is how various molecules various compounds contribute towards formation of pyrimidine